Hi everyone, you know last year I had the perfect, perfect peach wine. I didn't even know that I liked peach wine. One of our vendors that does it as a hobby with his wife, he brought me up a bottle when he came up from Kentucky to visit us. It was the best wine, peach wine I have ever had in my whole life. And I'm on a mission. He doesn't sell it yet. He still just does it as a hobby, even though he's won statewide tournaments, national tournaments, international tournaments. I don't know if he's gonna come back and bring me another bottle. So I can't wait. Summer's coming. I need to find a nice peach wine. So I've got three bottles of wine and today's the day we're gonna do a taste test. I'm so excited. So let's open up these bottles. If I had a third hand, I would be holding up the third bottle. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. It's another episode of Wine Diaries. This is going to be, I'm on a hunt for a nice peach wine to sit and relax with this summer. It's not summer yet, but it's coming. I had the doors open today. We were in the 70s and it's just starting to feel hopeful for summer. Hopeful for just sitting outside, relaxing with a nice fruity wine. I had this peach wine last year that one of our vendors brought up when he came to visit from Kentucky. He does it as a hobby. He's won all kinds of awards, him and his wife, but he's not into selling it yet, or for him, it's just still a hobby. And I don't know if he's gonna come back this year to see us or not, and he doesn't sell it yet. So I need to find a substitute. So I've got three bottles of peach wine. Gonna try them tonight and see if one of them is going to be one of the ones. I know there's a lot out there, so this is just a start. And I got a little snack tonight. I haven't had snacks in a while with you, have I? So I got some more Eastern provision of those little pretzels. So I've got some pretzels right there. And I'm using the last of the Maui onion mustard there in the corner to dip them in. Just kind of heated them up in the air fryer, put a little bit of butter and salt on them just to keep them soft until I got a chance to eat them. So that should be a nice little snack. Alrighty, so we have got probably the oldest one here is one that I bought last year and didn't get around to opening. It was before I knew I was gonna be on the hunt for peach wine. This is from Reclaimed Vines. And I did, uh, probably last year I did a wine diary with them. But this one is called Vanilla. And that's peach and honey wine. And again, this one is from Reclaimed Vines. And they're a little winery in Pennsylvania, um, in Movi Town. It's, um, I don't remember, I'll put it in below. I know they make it in one place and sell it in another, you know, where their warehouse is or their wine cellar or whatever, where they mix it. And then they have a little shop as well. It's a small family owned business. The wines are named after some of their love, beloved family members. And I've had some really nice wines from them. So looking forward to trying this one. So let's give this one a shot. Alrighty, just gonna put a little bit in there. And it's just a nice golden color. Gonna swish it around. And this one, I believe, the Reclaimed Vines, this one was the strongest one. This one has a 13.5% alcohol level. You can smell that peach because it's been in the refrigerator for probably over a year, so I probably should have had it by now. Might not be as fresh, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh, cheers, everyone. Oh my God, it's so good. You can taste the honey. It's got that sweet kind of aftertaste of the honey and then gentle, gentle peach. You can just kind of taste it in the back, the peach and the honey in front. It is a nice, sweet wine. I'm gonna have another sip just to confirm. Mm. It's nice, it's smooth. The honey gives it a really nice, sweet texture. This next one that I have 
is Purple Toad from Paducah, Tennessee. No, P Kentucky. How did I get that one wrong? So Purple Toad, you know I love that little guy. This one I believe is 12.9%. Oh, this is that glass I was telling you about. It's got the different colors in the bottom and then it looks cracked. So it just kind of looks pretty. Let's put a little bit in here. And I love buying from Purple Toad Winery. I mean, they've got some really nice wines that I love. Um, you know, I just order online when you buy, I think it was 40 Forty dollars in wine, you get free shipping. They do ship to my state, so that's pretty cool. Their wines are like thirteen dollars and forty-four cents, so not expensive at all. This one doesn't smell as sweet. I think it said it's four on their sweetness scale, but I can smell the peach. Cheers, everyone. This one. It's so good too. It's um, it's you, you still have that sweetness. You got a little bit of that, you know, white wine. Well, of course it is white wine, but you got the white wine, the sweetness of the peach. Um, I don't. There's no like honey added flavors like that. It's just peach, and wine, and sweet. This one's good too. I would be happy with that wine. Let me go back to this one. As far as the peachy flavor, Purple Toad, this is, you can taste more of the honey wine and a little bit of peach. This is a stronger peach, but really sweet. So out of those two, I mean, I would drink the Reclaimed Vines one again, but given a trace of the peach, I would take the Paducah one purple toad this one is from wine haven in chisago in minnesota so a local winery family-owned business this one's called just peachy and this one i believe is is 12 percent alcohol Alrighty, so last one here pretty much i'll have the same kind of golden color here Kind of stir it around, get the scent going, the fragrance, and release all the release the peach. I don't know. Okay, cheers, everyone. This one isn't as sweet as the purple toad. It's more tart. It's like. I don't taste the wine as much as I taste the peach. Like, um, I just ate a peach. It's like that fresh, more of a fresh peachy taste. It is good. But I think my winner is the Purple Toad. Purple Toad is my winner. But they were all good. I would recommend any of them, depending on what your tastes are. If you like the sweet honey wine with just a little bit of peach the one from reclaimed vines would be the one for you if you like peach and sweet purple toad paducah peach is the one for you and if you want a peach wine that you can taste the tartness just the fresh peach taste the one from wine haven is the one from you they're all good. I would drink any of them. That's how I am. But my favorite is the one from the Purple Toad. So I'm excited that I did this. I've been dying to do this since last summer or whenever I decided to start doing these wine diaries. And I was talking about that peach wine. I've been dying to do it since then. I'm so excited that I finally, finally did it. And um, I do have that one from the, with the 35 calories. I didn't think that would be fair to put it in with this one. But Purple Toad, that's my winner. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending time with me. If you have a favorite peach wine, I'll be happy to do another taste test against my Paducah peach. 
And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys go out and have an amazing day. It's been a really great weekend. I'm probably going to post this on either like a Wine Wednesday or a Friday or something like that. So it'll be, be about a week before you guys see this. So anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping in. Really means a lot to me. I hope that you subscribe to me, my channel. Um, it would just... It really just kind of helps my channel grow, gets my videos out there, and I get to meet some more lovely people like you. And it's just been an incredible journey meeting so many nice people here and watching everyone's channels grow and just supporting each other and not having any drama or hate or things like that going back and forth or putting someone down. It's We just seem to all seem to want to help each other, lift each other's spirits up and it's just an amazing journey here. So thank you guys so much. I'm starting to ramble and I really want to drink some of my wine. So love you guys so much. Take care. Be safe. Be kind. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Have the snacks. Love you guys so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.